And now I'm going to introduce a very special guest who, um, he is a, the son of the composer T.C. Kelly. He studied at, studied at the Royal College of Music in London. He's also the CEO of the Irish Chamber Orchestra, which will be performing at Lincoln Center on October 31st. But in addition to upholding the highest standards in artistic performance, the Irish Chamber Orchestra has established a community outreach program. And I'm going to ask him to talk a little bit about that, because they've brought music into the disadvantaged schools in Limerick City. And they've made a huge difference there. It's really changing the lives of the students. So now, would you please welcome John Kelly? Hey, good evening. It wouldn't be an Irish gathering if there wasn't a tune in the story. So I'm going to tell you a story about innovation and um, play you a tune. You know, the product, uh, if you invest in people, the product is going to be innovation. And we've been doing it in Ireland for a long time, and we're very good at it. And this is a story about a woman called Elizabeth McDermott Rowe, who 300 years ago, when she saw the curiosity of a 12-year-old boy, she decided to fund his education in poetry and music and general learning. And notwithstanding the fact that this boy went blind from smallpox um, in his mid-teens, he went on to become one of Ireland's most prolific composers. And his name was Turlock O'Carrollon. He lived from 1670 to 1738. We're still playing his music today, and his music is inspiring millions all around the world. And it's not because he has a great marketing company or a PR agency behind him. It's because his music has integrity. So we have developed a program in Limerick in South Hill and St. Mary's Park. And these were failing areas in the school system. But we knew that if we put music at the center of the school curriculum, the primary school curriculum, it would change things. Because every kid has a fantastic ability. So the first outcome, five weeks into this program, when we started in, in Galvon National School in South Hill in Limerick, the principal rings me up and he says, you know, John, it's incredible what these kids are doing. I said, well, tell me, what, what, what's the outcome for you? What's the first outcome? And he said, the kids are coming to school. <laughs> now, three years into the program, all those kids, they write their own songs, they all play the violin, and they perform with the orchestra twice a year. And every kid that goes to these schools, that's, it's on the curriculum. That's what they do. And the ideas that these children come up with is phenomenal. The, the music that they write has such integrity that we could record it and sell it. It has improved their literacy and their numeracy. So if there are people here in this room who are responsible for policy in, in primary and elementary uh, education, you put music at the center of your program, and you will produce geniuses because it's the way God made us. Music works as a catalyst on the physical development of the brain, and the latest research is showing this in spades. So now to the tune. The tune I'm gonna play is written by Turlock O'Carlin in 1712 or so. It's called O'Carlin's Concerto, and I'm dedicating this to all you innovators and to all you honorees in this room. And if you feel like dancing, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> 